Hey guys, it's Phil here from The Goose, uh, in my shorts today. It's the 14th of May, first big video fishing report of the year. It's fantastic, the sun's out and the fish are everywhere. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown. We're going to start on the freshwater side of things. Um, the, obviously the, the herring have run. Um, it's still worth fishing in, in the ponds, the ponds that have got the herring runs. Uh, my son lost what we think is like seven, eight pound largey last night on a dead alive. Um, just flopping one of those out on the water. Um, the smallmouth are starting to come up into the shallow water and they're nesting, um, so you have a chance of getting those. Trout still going as well because the water temperature is relatively cool. Um, so get in the local ponds, really easy access. Um, we've got shiners, we've got the night crawlers, but also obviously yeah, the small spoons are doing fantastic as well as are the soft plastics. So fresh water, great way. Um, everybody's been fishing with this COVID going on. Um, it's a great way to get away. So, so try and you know, obviously keep your distance, be respectful of others and have fun on the water there. Salt water. Salt water's just starting to get going. Um, the squid have now been running probably for 10 days or so in the sound. Um, so get there out there with the squid jigs. Um, mackerel have just started showing up in the bay. And one of our guys, Matt, yesterday got a five gallon bucket full of uh, mackerel out of Sussuit. And that obviously is going to drag the bass in. We had reports um, last week, actually, to be fair, just before the big moon, uh, of uh, you could walk on the stripers in Buzzards Bay. Um, those obviously will have pushed through. Um, there's going to be a fantastic photo out tonight. One of my junior pro staff, Jake Boskus, who's a demon little angler and got a 49 and a half inch fish yesterday um, out on the flats. So the big fish are just starting to arrive. And behind me right now in the cove, uh, me and my wife um, and my son's girlfriend actually went fishing last night. We got 60, 70 um, schoolies throwing um, the small dart spins, the four and a half dart spin. Had a couple on the fly as well. Uh, so, so it's a fantastic school of fishing. Get out on any of the jetties you can. Get into Pleasance Bay, get into Towns, uh, Towns Cove. Uh, David, who's my outdoor manager, he was fishing with his daughters last night down at River Road. Absolutely tonged them. Uh, went down to Meeting House, tonged them again. So there's tons of uh, action with the, with the fish there, which is great. Um, the haddock fishing's also been fantastic. If you can get out onto the haddock grounds, um, you know, don't forget your limits, but you, know, you can get some good fun there. And the bigger fish are coming on the striped bass front. Hey, and it's only two weeks off and it's tuna time. Who knows where they will be? That's a quick rundown of uh, the Cape from a, from a fishing perspective. May, mid-May to mid-June, probably one of the best four week slots you can get on the Cape. If you can get down, keep away from people, go fishing. It's a beautiful day, beautiful on town cove. Get out there guys, thanks very much.